Hey, ever thought about making cartoon style podcasts entirely with AI, like the script, the audio, the animation, everything done by AI tools? He dives deep into the science of dopamine and how it shapes our lives, and we're here to break it down in work well style. That's right. We'll explore what dopamine really is, how it works, and how you can use it to stay motivated and balanced. Without falling into common traps, and let me tell you, it's totally doable with a little manual work here and there. In this video, I'm breaking down everything: the tools I used, how I put things all together, and some free alternatives you can try if you're on a budget. Stick around to the end because I'll share all my prompts and some cool free options you can use to get started right away. So here's the backstory: a few days ago. I decided to experiment with all AI tools I've been testing out and put them together to create a cartoon-style podcast. My goal was to see how far I could push AI while stick, still keeping things fun and creative. I won't bore you with all the brainstorming details, but the idea was simple: take a productivity topic. Like those deep dive podcasts, and turn it into something conversational, engaging, and more importantly, animated and fun. Now, I want to show how I pulled it off step by step, so you can try it too. Let's jump in. Step one: writing the script. I wanted a casual back and forth vibe, like those two people chatting about productivity. I used ChatGPT to break down ideas from longer podcasts, like Andrew Huberman's episode on dopamine, into a conversational script. Here's the fun part: I created two hosts, one based on me and the other as a newbie co-host to keep things light and balanced. Once the script was ready. I exported it as a CSV file, so my video tools could、uh, pick things up easily. Step two: generating the audio. For the voices, I use Eleven Labs. I already created my own voice, so、uh, it it was cool to hear me hosting the whole podcast. For the second voice, I used one of their hosts. The process was pretty straightforward. Upload the CSV, generate two tracks, and double check that the line sounded natural. Eleven Labs is still evolving, so I had to tweak a few things.、Uh, but after all, it works great. Step three: editing the audio. This step is where things started to come together. Audio quality is everything, so I use Adobe. Audition to clean up the tracks, adjust the sound levels, and balance everything out. Quick tip: focus more on the audio rather than the video. A podcast with great sound will always stand out, even if the visuals are not perfect. I added some background music, intros and outros, then exported the final audio file. Ready to go. Step four: adding animation. Now for the visuals, I started by creating cartoon characters use FreePic. This is a great tool to visualize something, and they're basic but good starting point. Then I use Hilo AI to animate them. This part is a little bit tricky because the AI doesn't always sync the characters' actions to the dialogue perfectly. I ended up creating a few clips, some for. Each host and use Final Cut Pro to switch between them during the conversation. It's a bit of work, but the end result was worth it. Remember to work well and live well. And let's move on. Free alternatives. If you are on a budget or just testing the waters, here are some free options that you can use. Number one, script writing. You can use ChatGPT's free version. It can handle most of the heavy lifting. Number two, audio generation. Eleven Labs offers free tier with up to ten minutes of audio per month. Number three, audio editing. Alphonic or Audacity are great for cleaning up sound and balancing levels. Number four, video creation. CapCut. 
is a fantastic free editor and you can use free tools like Dolly 3 to generate visuals. These tools aren't perfect but can get you stand started without spending a dime. And the next step is my reflection and takeaway. Honestly, making a cartoon style podcast with AI is easier than it sounds, or maybe it still needs some manual work. And my advice, start simple. Pick one thing like writing the script or generating audio and build from there. And the pro tip, nail the audio quality. People will forgive imperfect visuals, but bad audio, not so much. Oh. Don't forget to check the link below to grab all the prompts I used. If you want me to do a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial about how I made this all together, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. And as always, thanks for joining us. Remember to work well and live well.